today's video, it is just a quick little video giving you guys some updates on the royal family season two. I feel so weird saying season two. I know it's like, like I feel like I'm being so extra by making it kind of like a TV show, but it just makes sense in my head. And some people said it felt like a TV show to them too. But then when I say season two out loud, it just sounds a little odd to me. But anyway, it's fine. It's a lot of fun. In this video, it's just going to give you guys some updates for season two of the Royal Family. I'm so excited to be able to do the video and to start the series again with you guys. And I'm glad that I'm doing this to like touch on more Royal Family stuff because I know it's been a lot of Realm of Magic stuff going on. So I wanted to do this video for you guys too. Anyway, okay. So this is just going to give you guys quick little updates because time has passed since the episode 100 of the Royal Family and the next episode of the next season. So I wrote down some of the updates and things that have happened because I didn't, because my goal for the Meet the Royals video that's coming out is it's going to be kind of like a remake of the first Meet the Royals video that I had. So it's basically aimed for and like I'll, the way I'll be talking is kind of like for people who have never seen the series at all, like just assuming that they've never seen it. So it's just going to be reintroducing all of the families. And then in the episodes after that, that's when we will start the series, like the let's play and actually play and, and have like all the stories come out and all of that too. So the first Meet the Royals is just like reintroducing but my goal is for like to get new people to watch it too so that's kind of why I'm doing it so since time has passed and since you guys have seen season one of the royal family I just wanted to fill you guys in on what has happened because I didn't want you guys to be confused in season two and been like wait what first things first so in episode 100 you guys saw that Kellen and Megan they got married they eloped and they were going to tell their family so they have now told their family about it and Megan told them that she wanted to travel when well, they actually ended up because the, the Duke of Windenburg became available. So they are now the Duke and Duchess of Windenburg. Kellen told his father that Meghan wants to travel and he wants to go with her and Meghan like wants to make a difference. Meghan actually started her own charity organization. So she is working for like nonprofit and she is traveling. So they are now currently traveling. As you guys can see, they're not there. So they're traveling for just like kind of weeks on end and kind of doing what they can to make the world a better place. So so Kellen is helping Megan with that and kind of help her with her dreams. They probably won't be having kids for a while, not like too long, I don't wanna wait, but I don't think that's like their main priority at the moment. But they do have the Duke and Duchess of, of Windenburg title. I know that seems odd because like Megan wanted to get away from all of this, but like they needed a place to live and the name and the title was open. So I figured it would be good for them because they can still be Duke and Duchess and like do what they want too. So I feel like that's why it's fine. Another thing is that Sadira, she is now officially dating, where did he go, of Brindleton Bay. So she's officially dating Johan right now of, of Brindleton Bay because in the last episode, was it the last episode? No, it was episode 99. You guys saw that they were flirting and getting along. So Johan is starting to fall in love with her. He's still mourning May and Sadira is like very understanding about that. But it, like every day is just getting easier for him. So they could be having a wedding soon. It's also an arranged marriage. So like they're not really like we're not waiting for them to fall in love necessarily. But I think that things are really working out with them. And I think they could actually end up being a really happy couple together. Also, King Jared is not there because I am currently in in my magic, sorry, Realm of Magic series. So King Jared is in Glimmerbrook right now helping Corinne. So that's why he's not there at the moment. You guys will see because the families are still missing. And I know I've had so many people tell me it's because they got cold. I think that's what you call it. So the families did, they they got, they went missing and it was because of that, because they got cold. But because of that, it really helped my story and it just made it so much more fun. So we're gonna go with that for the story because it's just a lot of fun, you guys. Also, Belle and Francisco, and I'll show you guys a lot of kids that have aged up I'm not gonna show you show you guys like I'll just I'm just gonna show you guys from here so this is their daughter this is Lady Ariana I think this is the only daughter they're gonna have one because there are so many sims in the game right now and if they just keep having more and more children it's going to be harder to keep up with them and then it's just going to make the game just harder to follow and all that too so I think they're just gonna have one child also this house is very small they could just get another house because the inside is very golden <laughs> Like it's just gold everywhere and it's a little bit tacky to be honest, even though I love it so, so much, it's still a little bit tacky. So I think that is still going to be the only child they have. Uh, but I did realize I, this hairstyle I put also on uh, Prince Louis and Corinne's kids. So the twin girls did age up and they do have the same hairstyle that Belle's kids have. I might change one of theirs. I think I'm gonna keep theirs 
Although the Bell's child, she looks really cute with hers too. But oh my gosh, guys, they're so cute. This is Princess Elena and this is Princess Juliet. So they are just the cutest things ever and I love them so much and I really wanna do like a family portrait or something with them. Although Pose Player does not work for me. Like I have the Pose Player like knight statue thing, but it won't let me click on it. Like it has that red X symbol every time I try to click on it, which is really irritating and I can't figure out why. And I've looked on the internet and people have said they've had the same issue, but like nothing will work to figure it out. So that kind of stinks, but hopefully I'll be able to figure out something. So they're the other ones that have grown up. Another thing too is that Lady Helena and Prince Michael, so the Marquis of Oasis Springs, they ended, I don't know where, where I think they just moved out or married someone else or something like that. But now we have my, oh, I, I had to shorten their names way too much, so I didn't fix that. But Marquis Michael, so he is now the Marquis of Oasis Springs and then Helena is now the Marchioness. Oh my gosh, yeah, I had to do like Marchioness he. <laughs> So I need to use the VOD to rename them to actually fit her whole name. So is that Marchioness? Yeah, I guess that is how you spell it. That seems really long to me. Did I misspell that? I might have. It's okay. And then Nate also had a baby girl who grew up. So this is Lady Rosalind. I was debating, like I kept them as infants for a very long time, like because we had so many babies born. So I kept them as infants for a while because someone was saying like, like not all siblings are going to be like age up right after another. Like you should wait a little bit. So I waited as long as I could. Although we do have Prince Manuel. He's still a infant but then they had oh that's princess aria they had let's see where is she princess aisha so this is their youngest daughter the third child so Naya and philip that's their youngest daughter and she's blonde too you guys she's so cute so this is princess aisha of oasis springs and then prince manuel is still an infant he's probably going to be growing up into a toddler like shortly after the season two of the royal family starts and i'm just so excited to see them all you guys they're gonna be so so cute also earl jack and countess aria they had another child so their child, Lord Gabriel, he aged up into a toddler. Then they had another child too. What is the child's name? Oh, can I not see it from here? That's okay. You guys will see it in the series too. I don't want to, I'm not going to get like too detailed. I just wanted to give you guys just this brief video update. So they did have another child and it is a girl. I just forgot her name. So, oh, oh, it's Lady Minerva. That's what I named her. Someone asked me to name someone Minerva. I think they wanted a queen or a princess to be named Minerva, but I thought it fit her and I thought it was really cute. I think it'd be cute to call her like Minnie for short, like some sort of cute nickname like that. So for season two, I was thinking of renaming it like the Royal Families because we focus on multiple families. Although in the Meet the Royals, I'm still just going to focus on the Winterberg Royal Family and just briefly briefly show the other families just because otherwise it would just be way too long. But we're still going to focus on the other families too. But it just doesn't have as much of a ring to it as the Royal Family does. So I think I'm going to keep it as the Royal Family, not families. And as I mentioned, the first episode is just going to be Meet the Royals. It's just going to be reintroducing the families. So it's going to be very basic and just like an updated version of like the first Meet the Royals video that I ever did. So it, I mean, like you guys will know all the information already because you already know all the families, but feel free to watch it because it's still going to be a lot of fun. And then in season two, you guys will also find more about Prince Dean of Sulani because in episode 100, you saw that his sister Harmony said that she needs his help to get revenge on Queen Lindsay. So you guys will find out more about that. Not in the first and not in the Meet the Royals video, but after that, the episodes after that, we'll be focusing a little bit on that. So the main characters are probably still going to be Amira. Like she's just easily a main character, you guys. So we're probably gonna be focusing on her a lot. She is currently still having a fling with Makai because the votes, the poll that I did was for the most part, everyone said that they should stay together and like 25% said that they should just stay together in general. And then like, oh, like 50% or over 50% said that they should stay together but keep it a secret from Makai's fiance and mother. So I think just to add more drama to it. And the 25% said that they should just break up. So we're just gonna have to see what happens with that. But currently they are still having a fling and Makai is still engaged to Hannah and his mother still hates Amira. So that's her current situation. We'll also start getting to focus on the youngest generation now too. So like all like Prince Charles and Bellatrix and Diana and like the yeah, the kids of Willow Creek and all them, we're gonna start getting to focus more on them and they're gonna become like, probably end up becoming the main characters of the series too, as everyone kind of grows up. So we can just like watch them grow up. Other main characters we're gonna be focusing on is like Prince Louis, Corinne, Queen Ney and Philip, uh, Johan and Sadira, Araminta and Anya from the royal family of Glimmerbrook. So they're the two youngest princesses. And then Prince Jabari from Selva Dorada. I hate that I can't really focus on Selva Dorada and play from them because 
the mod, like I can't leave the lot when I'm playing from them and their house disappears. So that really stinks, but I'm gonna try to incorporate those characters as much as possible because I love that kingdom so, so much. So guys, I know this was really short, but I just wanted to do this quick little update for you guys. As this video is being posted, I will be in LA. So I probably might be a little bit slow answering comments and I apologize. Videos, I'm trying to post as much as possible during the week while we're gone. So if you're excited for season two of the Royal Family, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss that episode. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!